So how's it going guys, JD here, and today we're here for a randomized showdown. So uh, before the video starts I have to explain some things. Um, this video is releasing, uh, releasing a little bit uh, late because um, I had some uh, problems I had to take care of on the, um, with the editing software but it it's all it's all okay now so uh, uh that's why it took a little bit too long uh with the um, the editing uh, so yeah um of course um the tier list is on the screen right now it's the october 2020 tier list that simo has his channel will be in the description if you want to check him out uh, I feel like you guys already know what this is about, so I, I don't have to explain. Uh, if you want to see last episode, it's on your boy Mix channel. You have to go um, uh, check him out. His link will be in the description too. And yeah, uh, let's get into it. So how's it going guys? Shade here and today I'm going to do my wheel spins for the randomized showdown uh, series. So, um, I already won two matches against Mix, so, uh, I can no, can't no longer play the, um, the tier one and the tier two decks. So, uh, I only got left everything else in the rogue tier decks. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about both these tiers. I don't really play a lot of these decks except for, um, uh, for Gokis, so I, I'm, it's gonna be fun. Uh, before we get into it, uh, drop a like if you enjoy this series, comment down below if you have any suggestions for us, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, with that said, let's get into it, so I'm gonna just spin this, and I got everything else. Okay. I'm interested to see what what X we can get from here. And Grand Maju it is. So I really don't know uh, a lot about this deck. I I definitely played against it like once or twice, but yeah, I'll try try and um, and ma and do whatever I can with it. So yeah, let's get into the deck building. So I'm here for the deck building. Um, I'm doing this a few days after um, the um, the, re the other recordings because uh, it was corrupted and uh, like because of some stuff that I had to take care, it took uh, a little bit more of time. So yeah, I'm doing this uh, right now. So for the deck building, you just gotta play triple Grand Maju. It's the Normal uh, Necroface is a good card to get um, like banishing lots of cards from your deck, and then if you normal summon one and shuffle all the banished uh, cards you get, sometimes it gets a, a freaking huge. So yeah, a really good card. Uh, triple Eater of Millions. This is a special summon, and it deals with monsters by battling. So. Uh, if you don't have a way to destroy this by card effect, this, um, uh, of course it's once per turn, but can, can pretty easily take care of your opponent's uh, board. Uh, we're playing triple Gizmekorochi, this banishes 8 cards to special summon, either from the hand or graveyard, so it combos with the dangers, because you can discard them and still special summon him from the graveyard. And you can banish 3 from extra deck to destroy, so it banishes a lot. So for us to get uh, special summon, get strong, and it's a really high attack monster, so really good. Um, then playing for the dangers, one Jackalope, one Tsushinoko, one Nessie, and triple Mothman. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty normal. Um, for draws, playing triple Pot of Desires, uh, the double Pot of Extravagance, which I, I really... Sometimes it was really bad, so if you have any other form of uh, draw that you prefer, uh, put it there because it really didn't work that well for me and uh, 
I almost every time I use extravagance I draw the other extravagance, so yeah, I was pretty unlucky, but let's just get into it. Um, triple Allure of Darkness, because we're playing so many darks except for Grand Maju, and uh, even like Diddy Crow is a dark. So because of that, we have lots of darks, so this will banish and draw, and the best banish uh, for this is Necroface because of the banishing 5 from each player's deck. So, pretty good card. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus just banishes one of our choice, so we can banish a Necroface from our deck to get banishing and get the Grand Maju at a really, really good um, attack level. Uh, triple Lash Blossoms for the end traps, uh, double Diddy Crow, double Effect Veiler, triple Imperm, and for going second, I'm playing some Sphere Modes. Uh, the extra deck, just because we're banishing a lot, because of extra it's just a, um, lots of nightmares because we special summon uh, a lot with dangers, so we, we can make some of this to get rid of cards from your opponent. So, Phoenix will get rid of a spell or trap. Um, Nightmare will get rid of a monster in the um, in the, um, main monster zone. Um, Unicorn will get rid of any card on the field, and an access code is just a beast for a card. If you don't know this card, I I, I don't know if you're under a rock or something. Um, Dark Rebellion. This is just because we're playing Mothman, so you get uh, um, access to level four axes. Uh, so. Uh, this is a really good card for OTKs, the Dark Rebellion, because the detach to uh, take attack from an opponent's monster and add it to your monster, which is really good. Uh, next we have uh, one Utopia, because um, it's one of the best uh, generic level 4 Xyz. Uh, and a Beast Dweller to counter Graveyard, so yeah, that's basically it, and didn't put a side deck because I felt like Playing with so many end traps, I really don't need it, and I was really in a hurry, so it had to be. It. So yeah, this is gonna be it for the deck building. It's not as detailed as the other ones. I, I don't know that much uh, about Grand Maju, and because of some stuff that I have to take care, I don't have that much time. So sorry about that, but yeah, that's it for the deck building. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mix here, and today. We're back with more randomized showdown. Now let's spin that wheel. <laughs> we get everything else. That's good. We've tried tier one, tier two, and rogue. So uh, let's see which deck I get. All right, here we are. Now let's see what deck we get. <laughs> that's perfect that is perfect hero that's my main go-to all right let's go to deck building all right gang here we go here we are with the deck profile so we got one destiny hero plasma one honest neos double malicious triple ferris one Dynatag, one Adusted Gold, triple Stratos, one Celestial, one Liquid Soldier, one Solid Soldier, double Shadow Mist, double Vion, double Increase, triple E-Call, one Hero Lives, one Dark Calling, one Rhoda, one Miracle Fusion, triple Destiny Fusion, triple Mass Change, triple Forbidden Droplet, and triple Impermanence. Now the extra deck, one Dystopia, one Adoration, one Anki, one Acid, one Absolute Zero, one Trinity, one Sunrise, Double Dark Law, One Blast, One Dangerous, One Dread Decimator, One Wonder Driver, and Double Cross Guy. Then for the side deck, we got Triple Nibiru, Triple Ash, Triple Lightning Storm, Triple Dark World or More, and Triple Warning Point of the new card. All right, let's get to them duels. So how's it going, guys? We're back for the duels. We both finished uh, deck building. And uh, I'm kind of excited for this. It's the third week. Uh, last week was on um, your boy Mix channel, so be sure to check it out if you haven't yet. And yeah, uh, you want to say anything? I'm glad to be back. It's always fun playing these decks, but uh, this time I got a deck that I know a little something about, so I felt a little more comfortable playing. 
Okay, so um, let's get into it. So as you guys probably know, right now uh, I got Grand Maju and uh, Mix got the heroes. He's going to be the 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 player below, and I'm going to be the one up here. So uh, on starting hands, do you have any comments about it? Something fe uh, feelings? Uh, I just open Hero Lives and Destiny Fusion, so that's a really good uh, starting hand. Um, also, E Call is always good. I know you have impermanence in your hand, so Destiny Fusion is a backup play, so I can set up my graveyard. Okay, so, uh, looking in my hand, I kind of break the. You you never want to to get the, the double pot of extravagance, especially when it's the only. Um, I only played two copies of it, so oh. uh, yeah, big yikes. Um, yeah, right, <laughs> right. But yeah, besides that, I don't have that bad of a hand. I have one hand trap, so I can still kind of stop you. You go for e call, get Stratos, That's just normal. Go for the double summon. I I hand trap you and. Yeah, you still have a lots of plays right here. You said yeah. malicious. Uh, yeah, this is uh, something. Tag. Yeah, this is something that and is here gonna I just go off. be really bad for me. Yeah, just go off, get all your plays. Yeah, this is just get... standard hero shenanigans. Yeah, getting to fairies as fast as possible. Send a shadow mist and oh boy, as soon as I see plasma, I yeah. kind of just. I, I just lost. Uh, the only f way I can deal with it is either I drew a sphere mold to take all, uh, all of your monsters, or I just infer infinite imperm. And I already used my imperm, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling bad on that one. You get plasma. Yeah, so too. And, and then I, I I figured you were playing Grand Manju when I saw you play all the banishing cards and you played um, Eater of Millions. So yeah. I was just like, okay, Eater of Millions can't do anything. I'm just going to sit on the pl on the plasma until I win. Yeah, so going into my turn, I just part of extra against my draws are not really that good. Uh, mm -hmm. I get a DD Crow, which against heroes is not that, uh, that important when you already have your board set up. Uh, and I get triple eater of millions, which is useless at this point. So <laughs> yeah, I kind of just give up right here. I have no place. I right here. I don't understand uh, what happened to Dystopia. Why? Oh, because it, uh, uh, because um, fusion destiny it gets destroyed at the end of your opponent's turn. It's because of fusion okay, destiny. That's okay. why it got destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So got destroyed. Against two, you just. Scoop my my jackalope and attack, and right here is uh, a really bad draw. So I got yeah. the the sphere mold. Uh, this was useful uh, last round, uh, yeah. last turn, and now it's completely useless. I can't use it, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I just I try to get something out the desires. And the necroface will be useless because of the negation, so yeah. Yeah, there wasn't really like if you would have drawn the the sphere mode one turn before, and then here I have the forbidden droplet to protect my plasma yeah, just in case from attacking it over. Just because it it cuts your attack in half. Here you just set a new card, draw and you get another another droplet. Yeah. I'm just curious to see how many you play. You play like three? Three. I put three, yeah. Yeah, let me see. One, two. Wait. There's two in the grave. Yeah. Oh, and one banished. Okay, okay. And I banished banish it with Necroface. Yeah, I with our Necroface. Yeah. yeah, so you're playing three. You got two. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking because lots of people just run it as a, a two off. So I, I was just feeling, trying to, to know. I'll bet it was my luck at that time, but um, yeah, nothing to do here. I have no outs with two cards on the deck. I can't summon back Karachi. Uh, 
uh, Necroface will be useless because it won't get the the, the attack of the shuffle. Mm -hmm. If Plasma wasn't on the field, this will be just you. It'll be so good, yeah. Yeah, this was like uh, 4,000, 4,400 monster if Plasma wasn't on the field. But yeah, my hand is useless. Uh, I tried to get just to see what was my last card and it was uh, effect, effect Veiler. Yeah. Useless on this turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you win the first the first match. Uh, going to get a second game. I just okay, I don't know what's happening. It's taking too long. Did you pause it? No. No. Still playing. Oh. I did, I, okay, I took care of it. So, just uh, once again, uh, you go for the Stratos. I only, uh, I entrap it and get Orochi so I can use his effect next turn because it's a hard ones per turn for both effects. Yeah. You set Droplet and pass, yeah, your hand, uh, you draw Vion, which is kind of a yikes most times. Malicious is yeah, definitely... You always uh, a, yeah, you, a, a very bad draw. Yeah, you always want to summon Vion with uh, increases effect. Yeah. Never want to start with him in hand. So, I'm looking at this and I think I, I have a pretty good, pretty good chance. Uh, I Once again, I, I draw with Extravagance into my only other Extravagance in the deck. So, yeah. <laughs> That seems uh, to happen a lot with the Yeah, it, it does happen. Uh, you droplets my Orochi, I just get me either of millions and just go for a draw. And then I forgot here that Extravagance was uh, already activated, so I can't draw for the rest of the turn. So, and I went for Mothman. I was just like for a second. Uh, what happened to my draw? Then I remembered I, I used Extravagance. Uh, but, uh... Yeah. I have nothing to do, I just attack, go for it, and then you pretty much have full combo next turn, especially with that yeah. Hero Leaves top deck. Yeah, that was a nice top deck when I drew it, I was like, okay, here we go, <laughs> time to go off again. And yeah, this is basically it. But I mean, here, here uh, I, I, I kind of misplayed because I thought I had three heroes in the grave, but I had two, so I didn't activate Malicious effect, so I kind of wasted a Malicious there. Mm -hmm. But heroes are so um, they can play through a lot, which is nice. So that's why it didn't hurt too much. When I did okay, the effect for a Vion. Okay, just one thing. So right here, you you uh, saved Imperm and add a Fusion Destiny. Was it because like you have no more like Fusion Destiny targets, or just you just wanted no, yeah, to yeah, get uh, Imperm? I, I because, just rather have the imp imperming in case you get the Eater yeah. Lanes again or, or like Grand Yeah, Mark because I was crazy. thinking Fusion of Destiny, you should have the OTK, right? Like, you're gonna get yeah, I um, pushed for OTK, Dystopia. Yeah. Dystopia yeah. will be uh, like, how much it is? 200 for each attribute. 3 will be plus 600. Be. Uh, 34,000 and it has the effect to return to the normal attack to mm -hmm. destroy. Yeah. And you still have the mass change, so I it was pretty much just an OTK. Uh, but yeah. yeah, it's basically the same I, thing. You just take one more turn I, to OTK me. Yeah, I played it. I played it. I played the safe route. I played a little safe. You know, I didn't want to. For this yeah. right here, I, I let it go through because then I had the mass change. And just in case, I wanted to save it too. But yeah, I, I went for the safe play instead of the OTK. Because I knew you could have summoned your, your Richimaru from the graveyard as well. Yeah. And right here, I, I just lost 100%. Doesn't matter what happens next. Hey. I lost. Get the, the Dread Decimator. Big yikes. Even though I, I just lost. So... Kind that of like doesn't matter, but yeah. yeah. And GGs. GG and I yeah, and I get my first <laughs> win against you. I'm two one, I think, <laughs> or two one, yes. So yeah, I finally two, get my first win one. against you. Yeah. yeah. So. So it's uh, nice. 
Yeah, this was really fun. Uh, I just... Uh, first game, I didn't have that good luck, and second game, you just went really good. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty much I had nothing to do in both games. You deserve the win. And, yeah, it's 3-1. Um, next week, it's going to be on your boy Mix channel. Be sure to go follow him. And, yeah, you have anything else you want to say? Uh, make sure to subscribe to Shady, guys. Uh, he's a cool cat. Uh, and, again, thanks for uh, collaborating with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's just, it, it's fine. I, I like it. It's fun. It forces us to play with what we are not used to. Forces us to yeah. learn, so it's it's a good exercise. So yeah, it's always fun. So yeah, yeah as I said previously, it's gonna be on your boy mix channel last uh, next week. So yeah, be sure to go and check it out. Um, uh, I don't have anything else to say. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it. See you guys next week.